All right, now there were major developments surrounding the Biden family syndicate and new details with Congressman Comer. Now, a whistleblower is telling Congress that the FBI and the DOJ are in possession of a document detailing an alleged criminal scheme involving then Vice President Joe Biden taking money from foreign nationals in exchange for policy decisions. In other words, that would be bribery. Now, House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer has now issued a subpoena for that document based on what he and Senator Grassley are calling a, quote, legally protected and highly credible whistleblower disclosure. Now, once upon a time, hmm, the media, Democrats, the mob, they, they loved and revered whistleblowers, even hearsay whistleblowers. Anyway, in fact, the first impeachment hoax against President Trump, that was based on an anonymous whistleblower who never, ever even testified. But now liberal hacks like Adam Schiff and John King at Fake News CNN, they're not interested in serious claims of government corruption. Take a look at this. A stunning allegation. Joe Biden taking foreign money to shape U.S. policy. Also stunning, I would argue more stunning, the Republicans making this claim admit they have no evidence, just an unverified tip. I wouldn't give much stock to this. Uh, but I'm not surprised they push out these unsubstantiated allegations. But They've been doing it for some time. Do you think the American people deserve to hear from this person and the FBI should answer these questions? Uh, you, at this point, it's just the most rampant speculation. We don't even know if there is such a document or what the document pertains to. All we have is someone's representation, and it doesn't even sound like he knows what it pertains to. Now, you got to remember, this is the same cast of characters breathlessly, day after day, night after night, they're the ones that pushed the Russia hoax for three years. No evidence, no facts, no truth, just uh, hope and a dream. Just a reminder, take a look. The question has shifted uh, from whether the president is working with the Russians to what evidence exists uh, that the president is not working uh, with the Russians. Because we are looking at the possibility that the president of the United States and those around him during an election campaign colluded with a hostile foreign power to undermine the basis of our democracy. Donald Trump is afraid. A political hurricane is out there at sea for him. We'll call it Hurricane Vladimir, if you will, the whole <laughs> Russian thing. This is evidence of willingness to commit collusion. This cloud about collusion with Russia will hang over him no matter where he stands. I certainly say with confidence that there is significant evidence of collusion uh, between the campaign and Russia. All lies, Democrats, the media mob, they don't care about truth or justice or accountability or transparency. They just want to win elections at all costs, consolidate power against the American people. But now, more than ever, checks and balances are critically, vitally important. Joe Biden is a corrupt, dishonest, greedy career politician who is not to be trusted. Here with the very latest is House Oversight Committee Chairman Yay! James Comer is with us. Sir, how are you? I'm well, thanks. All right, let me go to the letter that, that you and Chuck Grassley uh, wrote to Merrick Garland, the AG. And you're very clear on what you say here, that you have a legally protected, highly credi uh, credible whistleblower and that it came to your attention and Grassley's attention that the DOJ, the FBI, possess an unclassified form, an FD-1023 form, that describes, quote, an alleged criminal scheme involving then-Vice President Biden and a foreign national relating to the exchange of money for policy decisions. What can you tell us, uh, Congressman Comer? Well, Senator Grassley and I have both reviewed that disclosure. Uh, we find it very credible. Uh, we're very concerned. We have a lot of questions as to whether or not the FBI even looked into this. Uh, we know from your previous reporting that you've already stated on the show uh, that they turned a blind eye to anything pertaining to Joe Biden, and they just assume the worst when they uh, look into anything that pertains to former President Trump. So we're very concerned about this, and I'll tell you why, Sean, because, as you know, I possess bank records from the Biden family now, and there's a consistent pattern of the Bidens using LLCs to receive payments from uh, our adversaries around the world, including the Chinese Communist Party and many other countries that go into various LLCs and then they transfer them around in a type of money laundering scheme and then transfer the money back to different Biden family members. We've identified nine 
Biden family members that have received these type of payments from uh, adversarial countries around the world. Now, the question is, what are they doing to receive these payments? Then we get this very credible whistleblower come forward. Uh, and we have, again, reviewed this specific uh, disclosure. So now we're requesting that disclosure from the FBI, and we want to know exactly what they've done to verify uh, whether or not this, uh, this uh, you, you, allegation is true. Congressman, you said twice you viewed uh, the disclosure. I want to ask you about that. Um, have you seen this, this document, this evidence that the FBI and the DOJ have uh, are you sure they have not destroyed it? I think it would be very difficult to destroy. Uh, it's my understanding that it is uh, submitted within their database, and it's very difficult to uh, take that out and destroy it because have I you, had that have same question. Have you ever question. heard of bleach bit? Now, <laughs> yeah, well, we've, uh, you know, we, we're seeing it all with respect to the FBI, unfortunately, but we're very confident that uh, this does exist. Uh, we're very confident in the whistleblower. And look, this fits a pattern of behavior that the Bidens have done because we've, we've already identified millions of dollars into nine different Biden family members, and we don't have any idea what they did to receive that money. There are no businesses. That's what the Biden attorneys and their friends in the media have said. Well, these were legitimate investments into different Biden business interest. There are no business interests, Sean. The business was the Bidens creating different LLCs, trying to hide who the source of the transfer was, and then deceive the IRS, and then goes back into the Bidens' back pockets. So what did they do to receive this money? And again, we take our whistleblowers very seriously. As you know, there have been two very credible whistleblowers come forward in the last two weeks. Uh, we're doing everything we right. can to protect these whistleblowers and to try to encourage more whistleblowers to come forward. But we have credible evidence, and we want to know exactly okay, what let me the ask FBI you this, did to verify this. You talk about a foreign national. Do you know what country this foreign national is from, A, and B, you talk about the exchange of money for policy decisions. Do you know how much money, and do you know what the policy decisions were? I know the country, and I know the policy decision, but I'm not at liberty to say right now. Again, I'll, we're waiting I'll, I'll for the FBI you, if you to comply me. with our subpoena. <laughs> I'm, I'm teasing. And you'll be the first to know, no, Sean. I, I, no, to be honest, Congressman, you're talking about a vice president being bribed, and he's now the president of, the, of the, this country. You know, a balloon flies over our country, and nothing happens. Uh, a drone is taken out of the sky, and nothing happens. Uh, is it because... Uh, the president is compromised. I worry about that. Am I wrong to worry about that? No, you're exactly right. That's why we're investigating Joe Biden. The media wants to talk about Hunter Biden. Look, we've already disclosed that there are nine Biden family members. It isn't just about the president's son. It isn't just about the president's brother. It's about the president's entire family. But let's we'll be real. I mean, does anyone believe that they're getting this money just as coincidence? I mean, there are countless transactions from, from many countries, countries that no one else would ever do business with. Even some of the biggest companies in America that, are, that have a huge international footprint don't even do business in some of these countries. What are they doing to receive this money? This fits a pattern with everything that our whistleblower, our very credible whistleblower, has alleged that Joe wow. Biden did when he was vice president. That's why we want to know what the FBI has done to verify this claim. We know they have the claim. We want to know what please, they've done to verify the please claim. Please do not let them destroy the evidence. Yes. Chairman Comer, thank you. We appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.